Islam has a lot of regulations. Uh, some of them are dietary restrictions. Would you please explain some of those dietary restrictions? Regulations are a natural part of life. You notice that laws are made to ensure freedom. Laws are made to ensure progression. Laws are made to ensure that the society does not self-destruct. And what better law than divine law, which covers not only our practical applications day to day, but it fulfills the mission of our existence. And one of those laws that the Quran has established is the dietary rules, because we always say you are what you eat. And there is no question that if you ask any dietitian, anybody who understands the nature of food, that if you want to live a healthy life, make sure you selectively choose the kind of food that you should put in your body, because ultimately that will affect the longevity of one's um, existence. And the Quran not only addresses that part, but also is concerned about the happiness and uh, tranquility that we, can, we possess as a result of eating. So eating good food is a fundamental principle in Islam. Uh, halalan, we say rizqan tayyiba, meaning pure food, good food, chosen food, not anything that crawls and anything that can be uh, edible that should be put in one's mouth. And God warns us of such things. That there are certain poisons out there that creatures have been created simply to absorb the filth of society. And it would be foolish if we were to now imbibe and eat those kinds of creatures because then it would be double trouble. Hence pork, which is the flesh of swine, which has been systematically forbidden for all, of human, be all human beings. Uh, if you look at the Abrahamic laws, uh, including the Old Testament and the New, you find that the consumption of the flesh of swine is forbidden. And Islam is very uh, strict about that. And uh, if you examine the collective nature of our appreciation for choosing the kind of food we eat, uh, we are its beneficiaries ultimately. And I think that's the beauty of a religion that goes to that level, not only telling me to be a good person and to promote good and forbid evil, but it also shows me how to do it and how to be happy when I promote good and forbid evil. I think that's a complete system.